All right, so in section 6.5, we're going to revisit a pair of topics we've already talked about. We're gonna solve exponential equations again. Uh, if you remember in previous videos, we solved exponential equations where you could equate the bases. So in this section, we're gonna look at exponential equations, meaning an equation where the x value is in the variable, but I can't equate the bases. There's no way here for me to make seven and 12 uh, 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 an exponent of a common base. We're also going to solve more logarithmic equations. We're still gonna use the definition, but we're also gonna combine it with the properties of logarithms. So, how do I solve a exponential equation? Here's what we're going to do. We are going to take advantage of the power rule of logarithms, because my whole challenge in this is I have to get the x out of, uh, out of the power. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the logarithm of both sides. Now you can use any logarithm you want. I'm going to use the common log because it's on our calculator and we're gonna use our calculators to get, uh, to get an answer. So I'm gonna ask my lovely assistant, could you give me a calculator because I forgot? All right, here we go. So I'm gonna take the log of both sides. So I've got the log of seven to the x power is equal to the log of 12. Now here's the nice thing, log of 12, that's just a number. There's a value, okay? And we'll be able to use our calculator to get that. What I can do on the left side, because I've taken the logarithm of both sides, is I'm gonna use the power rule. The power rule of logarithms says I can take that power and move it down to the front. So I have x times the log of seven is equal to the log of 12. Okay, so log of seven is a number, log of 12 is a number. Okay, they're gross numbers, they're, uh, they're irrational numbers, but they are, just, they are just a constant value. So I'm almost done with this problem. I'm going to now divide both sides by the log of seven. And x is equal to log of 12 divided by log of seven. Now, in most cases, you're just going to leave the answer like that. That's my preference, but I know sometimes you like to get some decimals. So I'm going to get a four digit decimal here uh, as soon as I get my calculator running. So I've got in the numerator, I've got the log of 12, then I'm gonna divide by the log of seven, and it's going to turn out to be 1.276989408. I'm gonna round that. So X is approximately equal to uh, 1.2770. Uh, when I round to the fourth decimal place. And so I'll put that in a set. I'm almost out of space on my small little whiteboard. And there we go. That's how you solve an exponential equation.